Yes, we are back to a Garethville. Now, if you guys all remember, that's where this series started with Entrails of a Virgin. And today I am reviewing the sequel, Entrails of a Beautiful Woman. It's basically Entrails of a Virgin if the director was like, you know what this movie lacks? Fucking slee. So it's cranked up to a thousand and it's a beautiful, entertaining, so much fun. This is why I love these types of films. Balls to the walls, sleaze, no shame about it. It starts off with a gang rape. Yakuza members gang rape a woman and you're, uh, you're led to believe that she was just looking for her sister who disappeared and the Yakuza tells her, well, we we know where your sister is, we sold her to Africa for slavery. Yeah, this, the, yeah, yeah it, it gets dark, it gets dark pretty soon. And then she gets drugged, a kind of drug that makes you really addicted really fast and makes you very horny. And that drug is Angel something? Uh, something. Supposedly it's worse than cocaine and gets you addicted right there and then th right there and then and you want the co uh, you want the dick. Very tasteful. And then she runs away and she meets a psychologist. That psychologist tries to help her, but the woman is so affected by the drug that she commits suicide and the psychologist swears to get revenge. And that leads us to the action of the film that psychologist uh, hypnotizes one of the Yakuza members, tell him to kill the entire gang. He can't do it. She gets kidnapped. She gets... You guessed it right, gang raped again. She gets a drug, but the drugs don't make the same effect as they did the first woman. She gets super fucking power. She basically becomes Hulk. She is a monster swearing to get revenge on that woman from the beginning. That's where the film shows off its main quality. That is extra sleaze, some gore, some fucking wonderful special effects, some hilarious scenes. And if you guys were watching the movie and you thought, oh, I'm safe from the penis monster from the first film, well, the penis monster is back and better than ever. It's so absurd. This movie is great and it's super short it's an hour seven minutes it's in it's out no boring scenes just a lot of japanese sleaze and that's why i appreciate it so if you're a fan of so if you're so if you're a fan of entrails of a virgin you'll absolutely love entrails of a beautiful woman see you guys next time